<laughs> okay, what we're going to do now is to do uh, the last shuttle technique that I want to talk about, which is an alternating rounds and picks. And I think that what we'll do is a round of white and a pick of green. This will, uh, will involve the most um, situational decision-making at the selvages. Sometimes we're going to be weaving a uh, paladar edge and sometimes we'll be weaving the, uh, the paladar edge had the, the yarns crossed at the edge and sometimes we'll be weaving the barber pole edge where they didn't cross. So I'm going to start by locking in an end and weaving a uh, oh, a round of green. Um, I'm not weaving over the salvage here, am I? Anyhow, but it, it always gets thrown off when we're doing this round and pick them anyhow. So, a uh, round of white, and now I can see that for me to do a, a pick of green, I'm going to have to do a polydar edge. They're going to have to cross. So I'm going to move uh, the green here, and it is going to cross that uh, white yarn. I'm going to change Shad's beat, and now the white is going to do a full round. And now I can see on this edge that I'm going to be able to do a barber pole edge here to weave that one pick. It's going to kind of fill in the space between uh, the two ra white rounds. So I've got that one pick. I'm going to need to do a barber pole edge, or I'm sorry, the polydar edge on this side again. So I'm going to use the uh, white to lock in that green guy. The green one is going straight down. I'm going to weave a complete round of white. Now I need the white to, to cover that edge, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to throw this green, make sure the white is covering that edge. Chain sheds feet. Weave a round of white. Now, again, the green is going to fill in this little gap between the two white rounds that we created. So I'm going to change sheds and beat. On this side, I'm going to be doing my polydar edge again. I'm, so I'm going to make the white pull that green guy in and and lock it in so that the green yarn is coming out between the selvage and the next to the selvage thread. Chain sheds beat. Complete my round. Uh, now I'm ready to do a single pick of green. And I'm going to chain sheds and beat. Uh, this actually might be a really great time to end this. Uh, because at this point in time, I've got my selvage down, which would be a great time. I've done uh, five of these. That's fine. That looks fine to me. So I'm going to lock in the end of the green, and I'm going to keep going with my white and let the white just continue on uh, for some indeterminate time. But anyhow, now I have done some... Uh, alternating rounds and picks. So now we have done all of our different kinds of shuttle work. We've got some just plain solid color, both in the background color and then some green. We've done some uh, alternating rounds. We've done some paladar, which gives us that nice comb-like effect, um, the ridges. And then we've also done uh, the alternating rounds and picks, which gives us that nice sort of beaded look. Um, these are pretty much all that we have to work from as far as shuttle techniques. So that's what we, that's our language to build on for uh, weaving Chimayo stripes.